Hey guys, in today's video I will be teaching you how to bake your textures in Substance Painter. So, you may ask, what exactly is baking your textures? Very good question. Basically, um, whenever you're baking your textures, Substance Painter creates a bunch of maps. So you can see here, it will create a normal map, it will also create a world space map, a ID map, ambient occlusion, curvature, position and thickness maps. Now you may default to a different um, tab here. Make sure you're on texture set setting and then you click bake textures and then this will pop up. Now we want our output size to be 4k as that's what um, that's my final resolution and um, when I um, when I export my textures at the moment we're in 2k but I will ups upscale to 4k um, when we're further down the road but for now, um, switch this to 4K and then um, you see here which says match, or always change this to by match name. Um, it doesn't really matter here because we've only got one, um, what, we're only working with one texture set really. Honestly, when it comes to more complicated uh, models, it's quite important to have this checked. Anti-aliasing, you can crank this up to 8 over 8 if you'd like. Um, that's what I usually do. Um, now with ID, um, again, it doesn't really matter in our case because we've only got one um, mesh ID. So I always change this to mesh ID because I find that this this is what works best for me. So by changing it to mesh ID, it will work out which um, which which surfaces in your or on your model that have different uh, meshes. So let's say we had a RS material on the base there and a different RS material on the legs here. Um, by changing this to mesh ID, we'll have two. We'll have like an an R map, which is a red um, red color on just the base, and then a G, which is a green um, color for the legs. So it, it'll make it easier for when we're wanting to um, paint our textures and just select um, certain parts of our model. So make sure that's that's been changed to mesh ID, which which, which is what I've just done just there. And self occlusion, eh? I always change this to only same mesh name, but find what works best for you. I mean, maybe, maybe this will work um, in some cases, but in other cases, maybe always is is better. So I'm going to change that and leave it there. Um, and then I just click bake. So depending on how fast your PC is or how good of a CPU you have, um, this can take. Um, a couple of minutes so hopefully because I, I do have an i7 um, CPU shouldn't take too long so come on now anytime today you got this bro all right I'm just gonna abort this because I feel that there's a problem going on it shouldn't be taking this long so and I also see in my um, in my task manager that it's not really using any CPU so there's definitely a problem um, let me just cancel out this and let's let's do take two okay so take two changing this to texture set setting going to big textures changing this to 4k um, changing this to by mesh name ID to mesh ID ambient occlusion to only same mesh name um, and there's one more parameter that I've forgotten which is just here anti-aliasing um, you know what I'm gonna do in fact for for the purpose of this tutorial there's no need for me to crank it up to 8 over 8 so I'm going to change it to 4x4 four four. and then let's see how this gets on fingers crossed we have no issues let me check my CPU usage uh, 2324 is it going up yeah okay so it's clearly doing something so we can now see that Substance Painter is clearly using a lot of my CPU now um, and also a lot of uh, memory usage as well. Um, four gigabytes, wow, that is insane. Let's take a closer look at my CPU. Yep, hmm, I find it peculiar how this last call right here, it's literally peaking, whereas the others are more, um, the more consistent with each other. Hmm, that's a bit strange. But yes, um, RAM usage, honestly, if you have 32 gigs of RAM, I think that's just the, the best amount, honestly, um, especially when it comes to 
uh, whenever you're doing a bunch of simulations in software such as Houdini and Railflow, RAM is just essential. 16 gigs is is all right, but if you can get hold of 32, uh, you'll be loving life. Okay, so all of our maps have now been baked, as you can see here in this um, column right there. Um, you can also uh, tap B to view them in the viewport. So here's my normal map. Here is my world space normal. Here's my ID. And this is what I was trying to say. If I, if I had my um, legs, or if I created a Lambert, a separate Lambert to the base and named it Lambert 2, whilst the base was still Lambert 1, then the legs would be a different color. And so we could target those legs um, a lot easier than having to just like, zoom in and make sure that we're only selecting the legs. So that's the beauty of having an ID map. Um, next, we have ambient occlusion um, and the curvature um, position. And lastly, your thickness. So those are all your maps. And just to get out of that, you can press B to return to the material. And yeah, so that's how you bake your texture maps, guys. In my next video, I will be showing you a basic tutorial on painting your textures in Substance Painter. So stay tuned for that. So again, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you next week.